Hello everyone. This video will orient you to the standard views of the transesophageal echo or TEE exam. Let's start with the probe. It has a shaft with controls on one end and a camera on the other. The controls consist of a big wheel, small wheel, and an omniplane. The big wheel allows you to flex the shaft's tip anteriorly and posteriorly, while the small wheel allows you to wag the tip left and right. The omniplane enables you to finely direct the camera sound waves or viewpoint like a hand on a clock. You can advance and withdraw the shaft, and you can also rotate the entire probe to the right and left. Anatomically, we understand that a large part of the esophagus is positioned behind the heart. All these movements are fine and gentle, with the goal to avoid esophageal injury. So be mindful. The anatomy is complicated, so I would get a model or old anatomy atlas to learn it. An exact order to the exam does not exist, but you have to get all the standard views, which may be found in this wonderful article. My approach to the exam tries to capture the most I can from the view I am in before I move on to the next view. I start with the five chamber view, noting the omniplane position at zero and capture of the EKG signal. This view shows the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, and part of the aorta. You'll also see the tricuspid and mitral valves. I put color Doppler on the valves to see the direction of blood flow and note if there's any regurgitation. I then advance the probe to make my view a four chamber view and then biplane the view to later calculate the ejection fraction using the method of discs. I then shift my focus to the left side of the heart. I assess the left atrium, mitral valve, and left ventricle at zero, 30, 60, and 90 degrees and ultimately land in the 120s range to optimize a long axis view. From here, I shift my focus to the aortic root and arch, and then I omniplane down to see the aortic valve and short axis. Here's one of my favorite views because I can assess the right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, and pulmonic valve. I then rotate the probe to the right and omniplane up to the interatrial septum to assess for PFO or atrial septal defect with color Doppler. Going a little further up on the omniplane, you can see the tricuspid valve. I then omniplane to zero and advance my probe until I see the cross-section of the left ventricle and right ventricle. At this level, you can rotate your probe to the right to see the liver, and if you rotate it to the left, you can see the aorta. I then advance a little further and gently antiflex for the deep transgastric view. I then rotate left to run the aorta and finish with the view of the great vessels. I hope this introductory video met your expectations. It holds a lot of information. So replay it, like it, and share it where you find it appropriate.